On the table, we return to Ben 10 Reboot. This time, create your own alien figures with the Alien Creation Chamber. Includes four alien figures to disfigure. Endless creations with mix and match parts from Cartoon Network and Playmates Toys. On the back of the box, we have an image of the Alien Creation Chamber in all its mighty glory. I like the look of upside down forearms pants. Comes with four alien figures, create many unique combinations. The four main steps we must deal with. Number one, fill the chambers with alien parts. Number two, rotate outer dials to mix and match. Here we go with three, turn Omni Creation Dial to combine alien parts. And we finish with four, press Omni Creation Dial to launch your figure. Just to be thorough with the fine, fine print, includes one alien creation chamber, one alien key, one heat blast figure, one wild vine figure, one forearms figure, and one gray matter figure, with almond nut sold separately. By the way, Landry, looks like your reboot joke is still going strong. When I find a joke, I stick with it. Looks like an amazing set, and it's never been done before. Alright, we can't stare at the box all day, can we? Although maybe Grey Matter could. Let's remove, see how large this alien creation chamber really is. Outside of the box and uncovered the alien creation chamber and right off the bat I am annoyed by these doors that don't want to close perfectly they keep bouncing back open luckily this front cover is optional so let's just remove looks like it wasn't even installed correctly but these doors if they lay flat, but unfortunately when standing up, they kind of just swing open. They do look cool. And there it is, the Alien Creation Chamber, if you didn't notice. Very fascinating. Right now we are unbody parts installed. Testing out these little rotational dials. Things move pretty well. I like how there's some sort of spring lock inside. Lower one's kind of hard to spin. Oh, from the bottom, a little better. So that's cool. Whoops, the back just popped out. We'll work on that later. The back side here is where you're going to store everything. And the button on top, very springy. So let's first observe our alien friends up a little closer. And there they would be. Now they are a little more spindly than I would have imagined. They're incredibly loose. And Wildvine doesn't like to stand with his head pointing forward. Oh, there he goes. I guess it makes sense as we are going to plug these guys into the alien creation chamber. It's just a bummer how the box art hid all those posts. Turn around and show us these posts, guys. Amazing work from the box art department hiding those things. They are barely visible. And again, very loose with the appendages. It's not something I would call very solidly built. But it's not really about the figures themselves. It's about mixing and matching their parts, and doing mad science creations. Speaking of mad science, Grey Matter, have you been hitting up the gym? I sure have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Wow, ten push-ups! Great job, little buddy. That's definitely reflected in today's physique on you. So if you like these four guys, it looks like according to the box, we can collect all Alien Creation figures, also available Diamond Head and Overflow, Shock Rock and Stinkfly, Cannon Bolt and Accelerate. I'm pretty sure they would be worthy additions to this set so you can really create some different combinations. Well now it's time to bust these guys apart. What was that? Bust these guys apart with the insert key into back of figure to release the parts. Yes, you can muscle the parts apart. That's probably not too smart as I've noticed some of the joints to be very, very tiny and probably easily breakable. Let's look at those closer. So, forearms, let's break you apart. No, wait a second. Oh. And see on the back of the figure we have a spot for this key to go in. 
very Omnitrix-like. Punch that in. Oh, and he just falls right apart. Now if you look closely, look at those posts on these arms. Pretty small. So you're going to want to be a little careful with just yanking them out. You'll probably definitely want to use the key as if these break then you're not going to be able to work on creating aliens. And it's kind of too bad they only included one key in the box. That's a little weird. I would have put at least three of these in here. It's tiny so if you lose this key things are going to be in trouble. Looks like you can almost use the key oops, as a uh, arm but not really. Let's try heat blast. So again, just pop right in. There we go. Breaking them apart. Looks like the key only fits, yep, there's a wide section and a thin section. So make sure you line that up correctly, wide section up top. There it goes poor gray matter. And finally, let's deal with wild vine here. We are in pieces. Try not to get the key mixed up with wild vine parts. Mix them up a little bit. And now we can start inserting them inside the alien creation chamber. And we are back to the core chamber. Now there is a specific way we have to load this of course, or we're going to have heads on legs and legs on heads and arms on noses, things like that. We wouldn't want that. The top chamber is obviously the head chamber. Then on the left side we have the right arm chamber and on the right side we have the left arm chamber. Or would that be your left side the right arm and my left side the right arm and the squirrel side the tail side chamber. Anyway, we'll figure that out as we load. And of course the bottom chamber is the legs chamber, the largest. It's also important to load these in the correct direction as the posts will be rotated into the center, which is the torso chamber. Let's work on the leg chamber first. I have our legs sorted out right here. And we will test this out. We will start with Heat Blast's legs. And there we go. I wasn't sure how far to insert. It looks like you don't have to press them in too hard, just to make sure the tab fits into the slot. So let's add another one. I'm just going to turn the dial from the inside too. Gray matter, forearms is giant legs, and wild vines. There we go, so legs are installed, all posts are pointing outwards. Hopefully we can build this just right. Now let's load on the heads. Starting with heat blast, remember the post pointing down. Okay, I have grouped left and right arms together now. It's not as complicated as you would think. Just think about having your arm going into the center. That's the best way to arrange them. Making sure the post is out. All right, we did it. We have loaded all appendages into the alien creation chamber. Something I really woke up today excited for. It's appendage installation, everyone. Now we just have to pick a torso. Yeah! Welcome to Carno Torsos. Torso lot, where everything is 50% off. That's right, every torso here is 50% off. We inspect all five points for blood oozing, make sure no bones are sticking out, and all trauma stains are washed away from the clothing. Come join us now, today. Wow, check out this heavy duty torso. I bet it can hold multiple arms, yummy. Wow! This torso is really hot right now! Everybody wants one! Are you a herbivore? Try out this torso! It grows on ya! You wanna look smart in a torso? Pick this one! All the rage in Silicon Valley! Come join us now, today! You won't be sorry! Um, thank you, Carnotorsos. I guess I'll, I guess I'll start with this one. Thank you. You all come on back now, you hear? Anyway. Okay, then we have chosen a torso from the Carno Torso lot, and we can now insert it into the center torso chamber. There we go. 
Looks like we're already lined up to recreate Wildvine. Let's just give that one a try, see if we can reform Wildvine. And to do that, we are going to turn the Omni Creation dial. If you recall, it is right here. I already sense some things moving. Let's give it a try. Things are going into place. Getting closer. And I think we've done it. I heard a lot of clicking. Surprisingly smoother than thought. Now, all that's left is to press the Omni Creation dial button. Launching our figure painfully. Here we go. Anybody catch that? Look at there, Wild Vine is back together. Pretty amazing. I was worried about one of his arms that did not look attached, but it went in. He is all ready to go for a replay. Well, let's bust apart Wild Vine and start creating some of our own creations. And there we go, all the body parts are back installed. Let's go with forearms as torso next. It was a good deal over at the Carno Torso lot. Now it's up to us to start moving these dials and creating something ultra silly. Well, we've already seen Wild Vine's head. Let's test out Gray Matter's head. Maybe Gray Matter's arms. And the legs of Heat Blast. I think that should do. Let's turn the Omni Creation dial and see what it looks like. I'm very impressed with the mechanics so far. Things are moving very easily. I'm not catching on to anything yet. And let's give our new creation a launch. Maybe we can see where it goes this time. Almost. And it's four gray little arms heat feet. Looking good. Have you ever seen something so hot, smartly strong? Hey Gray Matter, can you do us some more push-ups? <coughs> ah, that torso is too heavy for you. Very good sir, let's move on to another creation. Okay, let's work with the torso from Heat Blast. It was really hot on the Carno torso lot. Installed. Now maybe we should try something with multi-arms. So let's go with one of Wild Vine's arms. And two of Four Arms' arms. The legs of the Smarty Pants. And well, the head. Let's go with the head of Wild Vine. I think I like the green combination on the red torso. Turning the Omni Creation dial to combine. Wow, that is so smooth. Let's give it another launch. Let's place in some Minecraft blocks to soften the launch. And here we go. Ah, ultra silly figure though. I like the combination of two giant hulking arms on that torso with the little legs and one small arm. Very silly. And now I'm really itching to collect more of the alien creation figures. Alright, well let's go with the Nerdlinger's body. I think we've got to do some firearms. And I suppose some big pants. Now we have to choose from either forearms head or Heat Blast's head. So Heat Blast's head would match the arms, whereas Forearm's head would match the legs. I think I'll just go with this combination. Looks kind of cool. Everything's set for launch, and hopefully this time we can finally get a good view of him crashing. This time I'll make sure to really point it at the blocks. Here we go. Oh, that's gotta hurt. It really didn't. I've got a big head for that. Huh, so you do. I love Forearm's cheesy big grin with that smaller torso. That's a good combination. And the firearms actually look like something you could use in battle. The legs also match well. This one seems to be more serious than silly. And there's one torso left in stock at the Carno Torso lot, and this probably looks to be Wild Vine's torso. And we're pretty much out of pieces to choose. What do we got here? Four arms is arms. Wild Vine's arm and, well, Wild Vine's legs. And Heat Blast's head. So you can kind of see when you're dealing with only four figures, you're probably going to line up some characters with parts of their own selves. Definitely a reason to pick up another pack. Alright creation, 
Time to fly. Ugh. And here we have three arms heat vine. I am amazed you're still standing with those heavy arms on one side. I make do. Pretty good look of an alien creation. Bringing back gray heat arm smart, and three heat vines, and gray heat pants. Or whatever you want to call them. Ultra silliness has ensued. I believe we are not of the proper appendages. Pretty much gray matter. So let's take a look at our storage options. To open up the back of the chamber, simply press the button up on top. Oh, sorry guys. I do believe the chamber was too close to where we were standing. Ugh. So on the back here, it looks like we have a lot of different spots for arms, torsos, legs, and everything. So let's break these guys apart again and load them up. And there we go. Looks like we can fit a whole nother two alien creation figures inside. And you probably could fit even more, they would just bounce around. Hard to say if these guys are going to stay on side. Uh oh. I forgot, the torsos aren't embedded in. Let's try this again. There you go. Load that way, that way they don't fall out. And also, don't forget about the optional front cover again with the doors that like to swing open. Kind of a bad start to the set. There we go. Just wish that door would stick. Not bad. Looks like, I guess, you could call this a little carry handle. Not much of one, but it's something to grab onto. I would probably just carry like so. And then, very similar to a Ben 10 spaceship, fly that thing around. By the way, if we shake this up a whole bunch to simulate driving to uh, someone's house, grandma's house, squirrel's house, someone, what happens now when we open up? Looks like the torsos have flown off their spots, but everything else is intact, so that worked well. And actually, the torsos probably stayed there just fine. They fell out when I opened the panel. Pretty impressive. And we are loaded, back ready to play. Besides from the front doors being a little flimsy, and the figures sometimes feeling spindly, I really thought this alien creation chamber was pretty awesome. I will definitely jump for more creation figures. I'm going to want to make more combinations for sure. Basically fill the wheels up with all different pieces, and make a character with five different alien parts. I might even figure out how to chop my own arm and place it inside. Eh, yeah, maybe that's not so smart. Ben 10 Alien Creation Chamber arrives on store shelves this fall 2018 and runs approximately $40. If you're looking for a smaller scale of Ben 10 figures and wanting to explode them and rebuild into different alien combinations, this creation chamber is right up your alley. You can create some really ultimately silly stuff and some really ultimately awesome stuff. Just make sure to not cut your own appendages off and place them inside. They probably won't go back on. That's what I have to say about that. I have never seen such an amazing toy before. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe. Well, that was a pretty good review, guys. What do you think? Yeah, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Hey, where's Blueberry? Oh, I mean Strawberry. Well, come on, guys. Want to go watch some Ben 10? Okay.